Hey guys, Matt McQuinn here. What's up? We are going to do a quick search here on seamless.ai. We're going to take a couple of test searches here and see how it works. So um, we're starting in the search area at the top left corner, um, and we're going to set our seniority level to, um, you know, we want a decision maker. So we'll go C level um, or maybe a director. If not, that's fine too. Um, and then we'll come down to industries. Let's look for restaurants. Let's see if that's an industry. Restaurants. Perfect. And all locations, let's set this to um, contact or company location. Yep, that's fine. How do we change that locations here? Let's go to, uh, why don't we do Chicago? This is what I've been doing in my other videos. So we'll do a Chicago, Illinois test. Perfect. We will run this test and see what we get back. So we've got a list of restaurant theoretically decision makers here, franchise owner, regional director, 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 restaurant owner. Great. I mean, this looks like a half decent list. So as far as getting the actual contact details go, um, I only have so many credits in my account, I think. So let's just do a test of this one. Let's take Potbelly Sandwich Works and go find selected and see what happens. See what we get back for data. Perfect. So we've got this information here, including this email address. Let's copy this and run it through zero bounce to see how it comes back. And it came back as a valid inbox. That's great. Fantastic. Let's pick another one out of our list. Let's scroll down a little bit. Um, let's take uh, PF Chang's. Let's do this one. Find. And we'll see what comes back for this lead. There we go, we got another contact here, which is great. Let's copy this one. We'll test this in zero bounce to see as well, because they don't do email validation, um, as far as I can see. This one is catch all, uh, unknown, so we don't know if it's actually deliverable or not until we send it an email address, um, or any, until we send an actual email. Okay, so so far so good. Not too bad of a uh, looking list here. Let's run another search. Let's change this instead of restaurants, let's look for a home service niche. Like, uh, I don't know, let's take pressure washing. Let's go, sure, okay, uh, nothing there. Uh, maybe if we clear the industries and go to keywords, and go pressure washing. We'll add that as a keyword and run the search. Let's see what we get back this time. Uh, we're doing gutter cleaning, pressure washing, washing unlimited, Janny cleaning, this is great. You know, we've got some pressure washing companies, pressure washing businesses here in Chicago. Um, it's not a super long list, but it's really not that bad. So this is how easy it is to use Seamless AI. Um, you do get these results right away. Um, there is definitely some cleanup and some searching that needs done. Um, and we don't get every email. We don't get every contact here. Um, it will find a percentage of them, but then it, you have to validate them again as well. But overall... Um, Seamless is a very unique platform in the way that they've set this up. It tur turns out results very quickly. Um, so kudos to them. This is great. If you're looking for niche data um, like this and you're looking for something that is cleaned up from the start um, and that is accurate and is as fresh as possible versus a database like this where everybody who searched this gets the same result, um, you can check out our platform, which is coldlytics.com. And I'll give you a quick tour of that here. So if we share this tab on my browser. You'll see that we're inside of Coldlytics. Let's go for Chicago, Illinois, and we'll set our radius so we can get very specific in how big this area is that we're going to look at um, for leads. Then we'll come down into the industry and we'll set, uh, you know, we did a restaurant, so let's go restaurant. And it will give us a sanity check to say, hey, are these three leads clean. Do these look like the right type of business? And yes, they do. So we'll add that in there. You know, we could also do pressure washing. Of course, it would be weird to do these both on the same list, but just as an example, uh, these are here. So we could add that if we wanted. We'll go to the next step and select owners and founders as the seniority level and maybe director or executive. If not, then we'll hit the next button. Um, and then next, we're going to get into some of the filters. So there's different ways that we can slice and dice this list. Um, seamless, not so much. They don't have a ton of, of options here for how you can filter this list. Let's take a look at what they do have really quickly. Um, companies or website search. So that's a very specific search input. 
uh, technologies. They've got a list of technologies here, which is interesting. Um, industries, we've got that list of industries, but that's it. Okay, so there are some additional layers to that, which is nice. Um, if we come into Coldlytics, we have quite a few that you'll be able to see here. So let's move my face out of the way. We'll click on firmographics. You can get the revenue for the businesses. You can get the headcount of how many people are in those businesses, work at those businesses. Um, the date established for the company, so how old the company is or how new it is. Um, we can tell you how many Google reviews they have. Um, and you can actually, and these are filters, so you can come in here. Let's click on this one, for example. You can say they need to have at least, um, you know, between zero and maybe no more than 20 because you run a review service um, and you want to help them get more reviews. So you don't want them to have too many. Um, or you can say, you know what, we're looking for, um, we're looking for no maximum. We want them to have at least 100 reviews or more in order for us to reach out to them. That's what we're going to do. Um, so you can add that filter in just like that. Um, we'll look at a few other filters that we have here as well. One of my favorites um, is the franchise or national chain detection. So we can tell you if it is a franchise. So include franchise or national chains or exclude national franchises and chains. Um, so another great filter there. If we come back into the filter menu, we can come down here and go down to technographics. And we can tell you based on this list of technologies, if they are a e-commerce site, Shopify, WooCommerce, uh, if they have Magento, WordPress, or Google Analytics, so a similar technology list, um, slightly different. Uh, you can add those in here, detected or not detected, so you can filter it both ways. Um, if we go back out to this screen again, we'll come down to firmographics and we'll look at the advertiser section. So this one's one of my favorites as well. Um, you can find out if a company is already advertising on Facebook um, and we'll tell you exactly, you know, yes, they are or they aren't. You can go or and or Google um, and or LinkedIn is an option as well. So you could set it up just like this and find out, you know, these these companies have to be advertising on at least one of these platforms in order to become a lead. So suddenly you've really qualified your list um, and you can get some really great data. We do have a wealth of other uh, filters in here that I'll just scroll through very quickly. I won't actually go over each of these. Um, we've got technologies, page speed, ad networks. Um, we've got the website keyword so we can check the website for like, say you don't want Mr. Reuters to show up on the list then exclude any website that mentions Mr. Reuters, for example. Um, or you know whatever's relevant to your business if you need to exclude something or include a specific thing that might be mentioned on their website um, a suppression list if you want us to deduplicate against your own database already we can do that too um, so this is how it would work now we'll click on the plus button to deliver the task and um, by default you get this list of selected data points these become column headers on your spreadsheet and over here, we have a fair bit of other data that you can add to this as well, including you know, mobile numbers, um, pixel detection. Um, we can tell you, you know, again, if you use that WordPress filter, we can tell you, you can include that um, and find out if they've built it on WordPress. We find out how fast they've loaded their website in seconds. Um, all kinds of stuff that we can get here for you guys. So um, all this information is sourced from our human research team. So we have a team of humans who are experts in contact finding. And so we'll scrape down the company information and jot down all this other information that you're looking for while we do our scraping. Um, but again, that's managed by a real human researcher who then passes this list over to our team of email finding researchers. And they're experts in finding the contacts that other places don't have such a seamless. Um, because everything's being researched from scratch, information from the public domain, you're getting a list that's fresher and more up to date than anywhere else you can get. And the best part is this list is turned around within 24 hours and sent to you directly. So there's no more fluff of pulling down a list, signing up to a company for a year, just to get you know 10 contacts in a specific niche and then not be able to source anything else. Um, you know, I hear the story all the time If we signed up for Seamless or we signed up for, for Zoom Info or whatever and, and we used it for a month or two and now we've exhausted kind of what they can find us um, or it's just not quite quite meeting our needs for these specific niches that we're now working with in our business. Um, 
not the case with Coldlytics. You can come and go anytime. You're you're on a monthly subscription, but there's no long-term contract, so you can cancel at any time. So it's basically risk-free to try it out as well. Um, if you guys do want to try it, we have a $7 trial of 25 leads. I recommend you go to coldlytics.com, try it out, see if it works for you. And if you guys do have questions, use the chat bubble in the bottom right corner. It goes to myself and my co-founder. I'd be happy to help you guys out. Thanks for watching this video. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Happy lead hunting.